Hola amigos, this is level 12 and today I left the Italia fandom for one month. I left for school on the 16th and I haven't been able to comment on what's been going on in the Italia fandom for a month. I wanted to do that the Saturday before I left. I'm just like, I have to do it, but I couldn't. I didn't have the time. Life was hectic. So we talking about it a month later. Old news, dead news, but what happened? For those of you who live under a rock and don't know who Hedefax is, who reports on all the Hitalia stuff because she's great, uh, on August 14th, two days before I left for school, she made a video called What's Going On The Hitalia Fandom. Now technically the Hitalia Fandom imploded on itself a, f a while before this video was made, so I technically should have been in the loop, but I don't go on Tumblr or Instagram or the Aminos anymore. It's just, I, I don't have time. Also, Amino doesn't work on my phone. It's a lot. It's a lot. Anyway, so, she made this video, and in the video, she discusses Hitalia back in 2010 on Tumblr when it was insane, and Tumblr still had the crazy people. It, it If y'all know, had been on Tumblr in 2010, 2011, 2012, you know the cesspool that Tumblr was. I wasn't on Tumblr back then, but I like to watch deep dive videos of how Tumblr was. It, it was a mess, and so something happened, I can't remember exactly what, but all of that sprung over into 2019 and there were raids and discourse servers, there were the old kill yourself things, it was a lot. Head Facts reported on that because she's great and the video exploded in views. Now what happened? Well, because she posted the video on her Tumblr, which is already a very, it's only Hitalia, she got a lot of hate from the video and in her comments she got a lot of spam of people saying it was a rant sona saying Hitalia is racist saying Hitalia fans have no rights that they should kill themselves that the show is racist that the video is cringe that head of facts is horrible the fandom is upset the fandom is full of fascism and racist and it's anti-semitic and it's all of these things that literally the show the show's fans are either 12, 13, 14 year olds who just got in, or 17, 18, 19, 20, some people in their 30 year olds of people who had gone through the raids and knew were fans. That's all that's in the fandom. And Head of Facts in her video even says because there are now simpies or older people in the fandom, they can now guide the kohais. I don't know exactly where I fall. I think I'm somewhere in the middle. I I don't think I can ever reach full senpai status because I wasn't in the fandom during those early horrible years. But I'm not exactly a kohai because... I don't know. I just don't think I'm a kohai. But th that's what this... That's what some of her comments were. And Hedefax originally posted a longer version, I think longer by a couple seconds, where in that version, because I watched it right when it came out, like right after the premiere was over, I watch her videos because I hate the premiere feature, but that's another rant. Uh, she had a block list in it, and people in her comments further down, like if you go to the comments section now, it's pretty clear, but the further you scroll, the more... Um, rants and spam you see and there were people being like I'm on your block list hi how are you and some people were saying again Hitalia fans don't have rights and then other people were putting their handles in there saying add me to the block list or put me on your block list because I hate Hitalia things like that and then the person the main one who had a fax was uh stating had started the big kill yourself Hitalia's trash those things she also put herself in the comments it's wonderful. And then there was this comment by someone who said, remember when Italia stands took cosplay photo shoots outside a Holocaust memorial and did the Nazi salute and pointed guns at a synagogue and everyone just brushes it off as someone like fans being silly? Like, I believe Hedefax did mention that either in this video or in the follow-up video she did addressing the actual problematic things in Italia because there are some, but it's mostly to do with the fans and not the show itself because you cannot the two things are not the same though they intertwine and one has more representation than the other which is not so good anyway so for the fans that did do this if it's true which i do think some fans did wave around a nazi flag in front of a, a holocaust memorial that's wrong any sane Italia fan will tell you it is wrong to stand in front of a holocaust memorial holding Nazi propaganda and acting like just being stupid with it. 
that is wrong, that is not right, and that does not represent the Hitalia fandom as a whole, nor does it represent what the show is about. The fans that do that, none of, the, none of us stand them, none of us like them, and none of us want to be like them, and we actively try to separate ourselves from those people because we do not believe that. You cannot hold an entire fandom accountable for what a couple crazy fans do when they don't know what sensitivity is or the difference between a show and real life. And the show itself does not depict the Holocaust, Nazism in a good light. It does not protect, it does not depict war in its full entirety of being horrible. It is, it does not depict Nazi salutes either. It pre it does have the Nazi flag in it, but it, if it didn't, it wouldn't, like, it, you, you couldn't escape it in Nazi Germany. You really couldn't. Anyways, and then, like, again, continue with put me on your block list, things like that. So, that all happened in the span of about 12 to 24 hours, to the point where I got really worried for head effects. Like, okay, listen, if I had been getting all those comments, it would have really messed with me, but head effects, again, is a grown woman who it has a better head on her shoulders. So, raids started happening and as I thought the raids were happening I texted her like hey what's up you doing good I've been reading your comments and she's like nah I'm good the video has been getting a lot of views making a profit and I'm just like cool just checking I'll be sipping the tea because that's usually what I like to do I sip the tea I listen to the gossip that's that's my thing it's my guilty pleasure to do that which is why I love the uh, beauty community they're full of that. Anyways, and then she's like, oh no, I've got to check the amino. And this was, uh, I'm looking at the timestamps. This was kind of late at night. Um, I checked it about a little while after she said that. And, uh, about 20 minutes after that. And I checked it. And the amino did get rated earlier that day. I, I believe about seven hours. Uh, I believe at like noon on the 15th of August, the Hitali amino did get rated. And, um, uh, but everyone that did raid the Hitalia Amino did get blocked by a single mod who, I don't remember their name, but good job on that Hitalia Amino mod, who is great, and, like, I, I reported that to Hedifax, and she's like, yeet, Amino doesn't take any crap, there's mods everywhere, and yes, they do, so that one mod in the Hitalia Amino that did block all the raids, and, um, kind of temporar temporarily messed with the setting so uh, there couldn't be spam. Good on you. That's great. I'm so glad you did that. I'm sorry I can't remember your name at this moment, but you were fantastic. There were also raids across Tumblr. There were raids in Discord servers. I checked Hedifax Amino, like her specific Amino. It I didn't look like it got raided, but she could have like deleted all that before I got to it. I checked it a, a little while after I did the actual Hitalia Amino, but um, to every, to every mod in Discord, on Tumblr, on the Hitalia Amino, especially that one mod that did all the work of, like, um, getting rid of those raiders, y'all are doing the Lord's work. I'm, I'm so happy y'all exist. Y'all are just amazing. Um, I'm, I'm more of a watcher myself. I don't do that stuff, but we did experience more raids, more stuff like that. Um, Nothing on Instagram looked like it got raided, though there were people on Instagram saying be careful and they also had their own, like, block list people. Um, if you notice that something is getting raided, tell the active mod, tell the owner of whatever it is, and make sure you yourself block the people that are doing the raid so you don't get unnecessary hate. Also, if it's, if it's something like Amino and it's being raided, do not post in the middle of the raid because you could accidentally uh, put yourself at risk for either one getting blocked, just mass blocked by accident, or you could run the risk of having spam in your comments or in your DMs. Just be very careful when you start noticing a raid going on. We have this uh, thing at school called see something, say something, and that's more for like, you know, bad people on the campus, but if you see something that looks like it could spark a potential raid, as in it's from a raider, uh, report it. If you see spam, like heavy loads of spam, festering report it just do what you can to prevent raids and to protect yourself because we can't have this happening and i don't want um 
uh, fans who may have some sensitivities uh, being hurt by whatever the Raiders have to offer because it's kind of terrible. So Hetifax herself also did get raided, sadly. Um, her inbox, her ass box, all of that got filled pretty quickly with raiders and she it was it was a lot uh so head of Hacks herself did also get raided she uh replied to a bunch of stuff on tumblr uh there she made a video encompassing the majority of it but if you want to go to that i'll leave a link to her tumblr below where you can if you want the tea you can sip it on your own because i'm not going through all that because it's a lot of evidence and i read it very late at night at school when i should have been studying but you know your girl sometimes just got to take a break to sip the tea um but yeah if you want to look at that you can all just go to her her tumblr it's a lot so uh about 10 days later on august 24th hedifax finally addresses uh the problems in hedalia and uh the people on screen ella writes fix sometimes kate marley basement prussia whose basement prussia is an og uh, they have a Tumblr, it's great, I'll also link their Tumblr in the description below because they are also part of, uh, Italia Revival going on right now, um, they're very great, they were also in the original Italia issues or whatever, it's, Basement Prussia is an OG, and mass respect to them, and Theodor Alexander Sands, who I think th that was the one that wrote, like, a big thesis paper on Italia for college, which, listen, you do you. Mass respect, but in this video, Hita uh, Hitalia, Head of Facts does address the problems about things in Hitalia. She goes over comics, some things fans have done, uh, a whole list of things, and uh, there was only about one or two actually truly problematic things that people could latch on to, which again, it, those things are not representative of the entire fandom, but they are trash things that do exist in the fandom, and ignoring them gives more power to the people using it against you because you're cherry picking your evidence and it's it's a lot uh acknowledge the terrible things that have happened in your fandom don't act like your fandom's completely innocent but also understand that your fandom is not the end all be all it's not the dumpster fire you are not part of the dump dumpster fire if you do not participate in dumpster fire activities um just things like that so yes so along with this along with head of facts just addressing problematic things in Italia because there are a lot or there's there's enough to make a 21 minute video about uh basement Prussia and someone else who I forget at this moment and I'm very sad I think the name is Gloria I'm I'm very dumb are doing this thing called Hetabang 2020 and it's reviving the Italia fandom and it's hashtag bring back Italia 2020 and this is just a big revival mash thing of getting fans together to create art, AMVs, videos, fan fictions, things of that nature, all dealing with Hitalia cosplayers too, like anything that you can think of that could promote Hitalia, the show, the comic, the art, all of that is happening now on the Hitabang uh, Tumblr page. I went to it, it looks different than I remember. I'll link it in the description below as well. Um, and literally in august they had 250 something submissions i i think i got it on the the last day to uh register for this was september 1st and they said all through the month of september they're going to be working out and uh matching people together in groups or pairs it was a lot and you're going to create either fan fiction amv cosplay art whatever you can do to spread the the gospel of Hitalia, basically, and it's just all very nice, and they have a list of, um, things that you can and cannot do, such as you can't have super triggering things, you can't have, uh, Nazism things, you can't have certain things that would make the, the fandom look bad, which, hey, I understand, that's good for them, and, uh, they are gonna check in on your progress, and I think in March 2020 is when they want to have all of this stuff done and, like, completed and showcased. Uh, again, I will leave a link to the Tumblr below so you can uh, look at it yourself. But it's 
it's this very ambitious project and I'm so glad <laughs> that I was able to be a part of it. If you're also a part of it, uh, I, I wish you the best of luck and I hope that you enjoy doing it just as I know I'm going to have a lot of fun creating a fan fiction with whoever I get paired with because you could work in pairs or in a group. I chose to be in a pair because keeping up with a lot of people makes me anxious and uh, I, <laughs> I'll probably struggle enough trying to not be too anxious to work with whoever I get paired with. Um. But yeah, I'm so excited for this, and I really hope it works out in the end. Um, but yeah, so that is what happened in the one month while I was gone for Italia. It is, I can't, I cannot, I can't believe it right now that this, this is happening. This is what my life is. <sighs> so much happened, and I couldn't report on it till now. And this is the first video that's going up since I've been back from school, and I'm so happy for it. Uh, anyways, um, thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe for more random fandom things. Ciao, chicos.